Let's get straight into it because as I Pleasure. said there, we've got this private equity conference currently underway in Nairobi. What appetite is there for private equity on the east of the continent right now? Well, I think the appetite is very positive. Um, we've got a general strong positive sentiment towards uh, private equity as demonstrated by the very high turnout of large institutional investors and fund managers actively focusing on and beginning to look at East Africa as a, as a compelling investment destination. Mm -hmm. Where exactly are they setting their sights or is it just across the board? Look, I mean, there are a couple of themes that are coming out of the conversations uh, so far um, in, in the conference. Uh, one is the uh, increasing appetite and interest in the sort of Africa enterprise. Uh, markets that were actively uh, dominated by multinationals historically. Uh, be we're beginning to see the emergence of local brands, local companies that are aspiring to be big players within our local markets and beyond. Mm -hmm. So across consumer goods, financial services, retail, we're seeing interest in service, service sectors. I would say less of the traditional investor uh, appetite is focused towards the, the, the sort of older economy, export-oriented primary uh, uh, commodity uh, sectors. Are we looking at local capital or foreign capital here? What's winning at this stage of the game, Paul? Uh, I must say that today still the, the industry is dominated by international uh, capital flows. Uh, we had a, a good representation of policymakers, whether it be capital markets, pension fund regulators, uh, participating in the conference with the aim of sort of trying to bring uh, the regulatory framework up to a point in this region where we'll begin to see greater capital flows coming from some of our institutional investors from within the region. I would say there is much more appetite. We're beginning to see some flows. But there's going to, it's going to take some time before the local capital outweighs the international, club, international capital in the private equity space. Let's take a look at some of the uh, changes in uh, regulation that is uh, possibly acting as a draw card. And I'm going to put the spotlight on the East African Common Market Protocol that was signed uh, earlier this year because that creating a regional entity. To what extent is that acting as a draw card for the private equity investor? Oh, I think it's fundamental. I think it's a big factor. If you look at our economic performance across this region, you can almost correlate it to a couple of key things. One is obviously the improved macroeconomic management across the region, but increasingly towards the convergence of macroeconomic policy, uh, fiscal policy across the region. And these are all sort of pillars within the formation of the East African community, mm -hmm. which was formally promulgated into law uh, uh, middle of last year. Um, also, there's the sort of on the demand side for capital, uh, you're looking much more at local players who have become leaders in their particular segment that are looking at now this uh, much larger, much more uh, attractive regional block uh, to which, in which to play. And it's those guys that are actively looking for private equity capital to sort of stimulate, the, accelerate their growth across the region. So we're looking at private equity investment being enabled in East Africa to an extent. How do we compare right now, though, with other emerging markets? Because we know that competition in terms of attracting capital your way is rife. Yeah, no, good point. I mean, if we, and if one of the conversations had this morning was around where is the growth today? Uh, and where do we see the economic growth coming over the next five to ten years? Clearly, the India-China brick economies have been very strong. But when we looked at a list of the top sort of ten GDP growth countries over the last, uh, the last couple of years, uh, four of those countries uh, were actually in East Africa. Uh, Kenya, uh, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda. And the 11th country on the list, which didn't quite make the top 10, was DRC. So of the top 11 countries, global, uh, globally, five of those econ economies are represented in this region. So with, with that as a backdrop, it is bound to be uh, an attractive opportunity for private equity to sort of then play to that market, especially when you're seeing consumer demand growing at a multiple of GDP growth rates.